here we have the Screech TV box. On the front of the box you will find the LCD display and also the SCR number for the box and its MAC address. On the right of the box we have an SD card slot and two USBs. And on the rear we have the antenna, the LAN, the HDMIs, the audio outputs and the power. And on the other side there is a SATA port. So for your installation you'll need the aerial, the power supply and a HDMI cable and an internet source preferably on the ethernet which should be plugged into the venue's router or network on an open connection. So start by connecting the Wi-Fi aerial on the box, Just screw that in and then we'll go to the rear of the box and connect the ethernet cable. the HDMI cable. Make sure to plug this into the HDMI out and then connect the power cable. Next take your HDMI switch. This one is 4 in 1 out. HDMI input 4 is on the front along with the selector switches. And On the rear you have the output inputs 1 to 3 RS232 and power. So we take the HDMI from the screech box and we plug that into input 1 on the switch. Next we take a RS-232 to USB cable and connect that up with the RS-232 end, making sure to screw it in. And take the USB into the USB 2 port on the screech box. Next you can go ahead and connect the power supply. Next thing to do is to go ahead and take out the output from, in this case, a skybox and plug that into the output of the switch. Take a second HDMI cable, plug this into input 2 on the switch. the other end into the output of the skybox. Now plug in your screech box power supply and also the power supply for the HDMI switch. Next select the right input on the screen making sure input 1 is selected on the HDMI switch. So what you should be seeing on the screen is the box booting up. What you're waiting for is the check. You'll do a network check, an API check and a system check. You're looking for three green ticks. You'll then get a countdown and the box will start playing content. And then just check that the switch works, switching between the skybox and back to the screech. And also that the supplied remote works again switching between skybox and screech. Once everything's up and running you just need to tidy up all your cables making a nice neat install. It's also a good idea to label up the switch so the customer knows which inputs are what. If site wide audio is needed a 3.5mm jack in the AV socket on the back of the screech box will help you achieve this.